Hi, this is Wendy, and this is the first in a series of posts about changes in your hair during perimenopause and menopause on the Sciency Hair blog. Several things happen to hair and scalp that can make your hair seem more dry, more difficult to manage, more frizzy. Stick with this series because those things are fairly predictable, and there are some really simple changes that you can make in your hair care to make your hair more agreeable, on whatever budget works for you. The overall trend is for hairs to become slightly narrower. During your 40s and 50s, some hairs may actually become whiter or more coarse temporarily, and silver white hairs in particular can be whiter, they're not always. After age 60 to 65, hairs tend to become narrower or finer than they were in the past. Flexibility also changes. More hairs in the pa than in the past may include the medulla, which tends to decrease flexibility. You cannot see this, but it can cause fine or medium hairs to feel inflexible or kind of wiry, something that you might think is a characteristic of only coarse or wide hairs. But if you grab a hair that seems baby fine, but it's also wiry and stiff, this is why. We can deal with this, no problem. Kinking. Even if your hair has an overall low amount of kinking or none, silver hairs can have some kinking, and that means specifically bends or twists of the hair fiber itself, and that makes those hairs a less inclined to line up with their neighbors. If your hair has a kinky texture already, there may be changes in where that texture is distributed around your temples or hairline or crown, and this affects both flexibility and tendency of hair to frizz. Scalp oil production decreases after age 40 and keeps decreasing into your 60s. Those oils from our scalp keep hair flexible. Less oil from your scalp means your hair needs more flexibility from things you apply to your hair. Now, some people do experience a temporary increase in oiliness, but the overall trend is for skin to become less oily. The oil's composition on the scalp changes in ways that can cause hair to feel drier or more brittle. Decreased or altered ceramide production plays a role in skin hydration and barrier function. That means your skin is more likely to dehydrate, which also relates to hair strength, shine, and volume. Decreased wax ester and squalene content in sebum also occur. Those components are good at keeping water in the hair and creating lube. Curl may increase or decrease. Curlier, straighter sections may move around your head. Hair's volume, bounce, shine, and tolerance for styling may change as a result of all these other changes, or your styling technique may have to adapt. So stay tuned for part two, where we're going to talk about what to do about all these things we just talked about. Please subscribe to the channel, share with your friends, and you can find more on the Sciency Hair blog.